All right, friends, welcome to the five, seven notes completion. And we wrap up the chapter today with a little, hmm, another combination of letters that are going to mean a whole lot to us. And check this out. Watch how, watch how cool this is. Once we know the triangles are congruent by one of these five things, we've got a special triangle congruence theorems. Well, you know, just because you got three parts right here, SSS, SAS, even HL has a right angle in it, so it's all three parts. It takes three parts to show the triangles are congruent, but there's six total parts of each triangle. What about the rest of the parts? If you have SSS, what about the angles? If you have SASI, what about the other side and two angles, etc.? Well, guess what? They are also congruent. Why? By this latest addition to our friendship, CPCTC, baby. You say it fast, it's fun, CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. The corresponding parts, the extra parts of congruent triangles have to also be congruent. So for example, check this out. In this picture, these would definitely get sassy. Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. But what about the rest of the parts? Well, CPCTC unlocks all the other things like B would match up with E, C would match up with F. The third sides, B, C, would be congruent to E, F. Uh, that seems logical and obvious, but you got to have a theorem for it. You got to have an explanation. And CPCTC is the reason the rest of the parts of the triangle are congruent. So let's take a look. First example. Now this came from a hand gliding picture. I just tried to clean it up with some triangles here. So it's a the angle at which they took the picture is why the triangles don't look exactly congruent. But trust me, they're meant to be. So let's see what we got. Look at the big difference here, my friends. Typically the proof statement had triangle blah 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 congruent to triangle blah blah blah. But in this section, it's showing you that we're going to prove that segments are congruent or angles are congruent because they're pieces of the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. So you're going to work through the, the proof exactly the same. Then it's just going to add one step at the end. So let's take a look. Of course, we have our statements and reasons. So go ahead and get this going. First step, all that. All right, so now you want to go about this the same way you did before. The given's telling us one's the same as two, and then RTQ is the same as RTS. That's all in the given. Now, what can you always mark on your own? The reflexive, of course. So, oops, I don't like the way the green showing up right there. So RT, RT, by the reflexive property. And now you got the triangles concurrent. Now this part is a little tricky because you don't have the letter combination to refer to. So you got to do it on your own. So just make sure you match the letters up correctly. For instance, if I go Q, R, T, then in the second one, I have to say S, then R, then T. Now, why was that? Angle, angle, side. So this step is still going to be one of those SAS or SSS or one of the five ways you learn. Now, once you have that, that unlocks the rest of the triangle. So we're trying to show QT with ST. Well, once you prove that triangles are congruent, then you can say that all the rest of their parts are congruent that you don't have yet. So now we can shoot straight to what we're trying to prove. 
and our new friend is CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now I like to draw a little arrow back to the triangle congruence that got me there. And it's very important to note, you can't use CPCTC before you use a triangle congruence. You can't have it above the angle-angle side. So remember that. You can't say this until you have one of these five triangle congruence things. So that's all it is, guys. It's one extra step to your proof. The last couple sections would have stopped the quiz above that line, or stopped the, uh, stopped the proof above that line. But now the next step is whenever you're not showing the triangles anymore, you're trying to show that a part of them is congruent. CPCT, see ya. All right, this one's pretty easy. Let's knock this one out here together. Statements, reasons. First step, now they don't write out the given, they just slash it. So we gotta say it here, AD congruent to CD. A, B, congruent to C, B. All of that is given. And of course, we can mark on our own the reflexive middle, B, D, B, D. Reflexive is so common in this chapter. What are we trying to show? That the two angles are congruent. Well, now we know this the whole triangles are congruent because we have side, side, side. So you're still attacking these, trying to show that the triangles are congruent. A, B, D. Congruent with the C, B, D. And now we have enough to say that angle A is congruent to angle C by CPCTC. Now this CPCTC is coming from the SSS. Bada boom. All right, pause the video here. See what you guys come up with for this one. All right, and I'm back. with some statements and reasons. First step, all that given. All right, let's mark it. DB bisects ABC. Angle ABC is the big angle, so DB is bisecting it. That gives me two little congruent angles right here. Then it's telling me that AB is the same as CB, so that's all in the given. And then, of course, I'm gonna come back with, oh yeah, the reflexive property. Now there's three pieces. So what is that? That's looking like a little side angle side to me. So now let's make this pretty. First, let's state these two little angles that were congruent. Angle A, B, D congruent to angle C B Oof. It's getting messy. Congruent to angle C B D A B D C B D definition of bisector Remember, they say bisector, you're going to say bisector. It's either a segment or an angle. Then we had our BDBD reflexive. Cool. Now that gave me some sass. Just match the appropriate letters up. Triangle. 
ABD. And you could add the order switched here. Congruent to triangle CBD. As long as you had them matched up right in the second way you wrote it. Side, angle, side, sassafras. And now once you have sassy, then you can say that all the rest of their parts are congruent, including the ones that we want, angle A and angle C, C, P, C, T, C, coming from SAS. All right, guys, so that's uh, your introduction to CPCTC. Again, old school would have stopped at SAS, but one of the other five, th four things. Now we're going one step further. Please don't use CPCTC before you use SAS or SSS or one of those things. These two steps are interchangeable, but that's it. You can't say SAS before you say them. You can't say CPCTC before you say SAS. All right, guys, that's a wrap on Chapter 5. Peace.